You are one ugly father mucker. That's the line that Arnold Schwarzenegger used as it played the character Dutch when he finally met the alien in the movie The Predator. That's my favorite all-time action movie. When I saw the plans for the knife that he used in Nick's workshop, I said, oh, I got to make one of those. And I'm going to show you how to do it today on Bob's Woodshop. Please stay tuned. Okay, let's get this bad boy started. Starting out with a template from Nick's Workshop channel. He makes all kinds of weapons. A very interesting channel. Glued that on with some spray adhesive. Now I gotta take it over to the bandsaw and cut out the shape. This is a real easy project. This only took about two and a half, three hours. So this project is primarily done with the bandsaw and the different sanding equipment that I have. What I'm working here is a piece of maple that has a lot of swirl patterns in it and it looks like Damascus steel which is why I picked it up. Now this sander works really great especially for something like this. And it's really, it didn't take that long at all. And once I did that, I picked a piece of that leopard wood that I used on my broadsword and cut out the scales. You see, I switched the bandsaw blade here to a finer blade. This is a 3 16 inch blade and more suited for these fine curves that I got to go through here. So if this is the first time that you visited my channel, please check out some of my other videos. I've been making a bunch of different weapons lately. And welcome aboard. If you like my content, please consider liking, commenting in the section below, and hopefully subscribing. I got a lot more projects in mind. And if you got a project that you would like to see made, let me know. Here's a simple process steps of just gluing on the scales. And that's a shot of the glue up. I have to wait a couple hours for this all to dry. Here I've cut a couple small pieces of purple heart to add a little color and flair to the knife. And I had to trim them up with the bandsaw again and a little bit of sanding. And so all I'm really doing now is just gluing these on. These are not the final shape, they're just close. I'm going to do a little sanding and filing as you'll see here shortly. So having this little grizzly sander, it's a one inch belt sander, worked out really good on parts of this. Got some of the guard here and also polished up the edges of the lamination between the two pieces of leopard wood and the maple are nice and crisp and had to do a little bit of hand filing here with a rasp and some sandpaper here I'm drilling a couple holes these are quarter inch holes and I think it's going to add a little bit of additional flair to the knife Now, I could have put a hole in here for a leather loop, but I really didn't want to do that. And then I've also plugged in some brass pins into those two holes. This gives it a little bit of bling. So, I started with a two coats of shellac and then followed up with five coats of lacquer. In between each coat of lacquer and shellac I sanded and here's the knife as it's drying in my basement. That looks pretty badass doesn't it? So 
So once it's dry, here's the final project. I think it looks really good. So again, you know the drill. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I really appreciate you tuning in. And this wraps up another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Thanks for coming in. Bye.